in at Bellarmine with the Game of the Week. Mail taking on Henderson County. Kaija Harbison owned the game. Here she is in the second half working off the dribble, able to get by the defender and stick the shot. She scored or assisted on five straight buckets that gave Mail a four-point lead. Then off the pick, defensive help comes and leaves India Green wide open. During this run, Mail's lead ballooned from 2 to 14, but Harbison not the only one doing work. Jada Owens with a great bounce pass to Kyra Hogan. Mail ends up winning by 15 to top Henderson. Sometimes they, sometimes they don't practice so hard. Well, I got some Allen Iversons, but they, uh, when they, when the game, when the lights come on and when it gets to crunch time, they really step up. The coach was just like victory, victory. So it was my time to get a bucket and um, just keep the lead going, get our team, you know, hype, keep the, uh, keep us going. All right, sticking with the LIT, we've got Bullet East uh, with a tough task in Mercer County tonight. First half ball movement open. Uh, Allie Burke there as she gets a three, and Mercer has a slight advantage going into the break. Into the second half, we've got UofL commit Lindsey Duval here taking over the game, drawing some conduct, let, contact, uh, layup good there, free throw good. So Bullet East trails by five at that point. But ultimately, it is not enough. Mercer's Sagan Robbins fakes out the camera and the defense there. Mercer County advances with a 14 point win over Bullet East. Especially second half, there was a few maybe loose balls or, or that, that we didn't get, and they had to kick out three. Ended up having to kick out three. Uh, I don't think we got as many offensive rebounds the second half as we got the first half. Again, we played a top, one of the top three teams for three quarters real tight, and uh, so we got we know uh, we've got Butler in our region, Mercy in our district, you know. So uh, we got to keep getting better. All right, speaking of Butler, we've got uh, Butler facing Warren South in the LIT quarterfinals. First half, Butler's Kyra Kane drives from the wing, and it's an easy mid-range floater for her. Butler was never really seriously threatened in this one. The Bears, Jabril Kelly, good from long range here. Butler never let up in the game. This is the next possession, and they're going to go to Jalen Penn, pulling up from the free throw line off a fast break here. She gets the bucket. Butler wins 70-39. We don't try to talk a whole lot about it. Our goal was to get to Saturday. And uh, once we could get to Saturday, we'll see who's there. We know it's a tough, tough Saturday, uh, regardless of who's there. And, uh, and that's just kind of the way we approach this thing. Up next, the Valkyries of Sacred Heart and Simon Kenton. Sacred Heart's Grace Berger driving with the right hand. She's able to finish the tough shot over the defender. Then on the other end, Simon Kenton's Bailey Harney. Trying to make a push in the fourth. She ends up sticking the three-pointer to bring the game within eight points in the final period. But the Valkyries, Kiki Sams will finish with 18 points. Here are two of them. She will drive the lane, get the left-handed lay-in to go. Sacred Heart wins, and they'll play Butler in the semis. Um, I felt like we were kind of in control the whole game, really. Um, we came out and got off to a good start. Um, you know, our goal is to hold up other teams under 50, and we did that today. One of the top teams in the state, so we're going to have to come out and have a good game, but we think we can do it. So, it's gonna, you know, we're looking forward to proving that we're up there with them. So the bracket's set for tomorrow's semi. Sacred Heart will play Butler tomorrow morning at 10. Mercer County plays Mail at 11.30. Both of those games will be played at Assumption, followed by the finals there tomorrow night at 8. All right, we've got the girls' LIT pretty well covered, but a lot of boys' games tonight, too, including a statement win from the Fern Creek Tigers. We'll take a look at the best of those games coming up next on High School Playbook. This is Bullet East High School, High School Playbook. Yeah!